Hi, Michelle. Hi, Sabrina. How are you doing today? I'm great. How are you? Very well, thank you. So where are you originally from? Oh, gosh. Well, I was born in Miami, then we moved to New Jersey, then I moved to California, then I moved back to D then I moved to DC, then uh, everywhere. I, you would think I was in the military, and I'm not. Uh, well, I know that you're a noted Cuban chef. We're gonna have to talk recipes sometime. I'm a Puerto Rican cook. Oh my gosh, we're like sisters. It is. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you first get interested in the design? Oh, I. My mom was a decorator and party planner growing up, and I used to just follow her everywhere on the weekends, shopping for clients and making crafts. So, I mean, it's just, I feel like it's in my blood. Well, how did you become a professional in this industry then? Little by little. It took, I mean, people think because I'm on TV that it was overnight, but it really took a while of busting and, and hustling out there. But um, just getting clients, and I got a big, my big break on HGTV, which was awesome. And it seems like you're on lots of shows there and make your rounds around TV often. That's great. It's, listen, I can't complain. I think I have the best job in the whole wide world. Now, what are some do-it-yourself skills that you think everyone should know how to do? Um, I think everybody should know how to paint and change a light fixture in their house. Now, do you have a couple things you want to show us today? So, okay, so today, today I wanted to talk about something that people always neglect, and it's that fifth wall. And sometimes clients are like, I, they don't know what I mean when I say fifth wall. It's the ceiling. Nowadays, people are wallpapering, painting their ceilings. In our house, we have tongue and groove and exposed beam ceilings and skylights. And I'm telling you, it completely is the reason why we bought this house. When you walk into our house, the living room there, the family room, feels huge. It really is not at all but it's because of those skylights. There's so much natural light coming in that it feels big, so I highly recommend them. And we just actually installed new Velux skylights that are um, controlled by a remote. So not only do, do the blinds open and close, but so does the actual skylight. So we always have fresh air into the space. And the blinds we have um, are gray with a little bit of houndstooth pattern, but you could actually add that personality in the blind color because they come in different colors and patterns. It's so fun. Now, what are some of the advantages of uh, using a skylight in your home? It's really making that space feel so bright. You always have a really um, bright space, natural light, but you have that fresh air coming through. If you open the windows and the skylights, it's like a constant circulation of fresh air coming through. And especially, you said you love to cook, so do I. It makes all the difference in the world. Well, what are some great trends for 2017 in home design? You're still going to see a lot of white and light grays on the walls. Um, for kitchens, you're going to see two-tone where the upper cabinets are lighter than the bottom cabinets, matte black appliances for kitchens too, for accessories and um, hardware. You've seen a lot of copper and rose gold and lots of shiny brass, but it's going to go towards more of like a satin brass and uh, black steel. Now, why do you think people often neglect their ceilings? Because I think it's just something they don't think about. They think, okay, I've got to focus on the floors and the furniture and the walls, and then I'm done. It's like, no, wait, you're not done. You still have an opportunity to make something fun. Now, what are some changes that you think are not worth making in a home if you are on a budget? Not worth making in a home if you're on a budget. It really, it's kind of a hard question because it really depends on your lifestyle. Some people would say, oh, I really regret putting a pool in. We never use it. But other people don't. So it just, you have to sit down and think about what your priorities as a family are. And if it's with resale, you have to keep in mind your neighborhood. So I always recommend go and be a looky-loo at the local uh, open houses in your area. What are some changes that people could make that would improve the, val the value of their home? You'll... You're always going to want to improve your kitchen, your bathrooms, and you want every space to be as light and bright as possible. So natural light really is a, is a big thing in all homes. It's a must-have. Now, so going to cooking for a moment, how did you learn to cook? Well, growing up, we, my whole family, both of my parents are from Cuba. My mom, my aunt, my grandparents used to always be in the kitchen cooking, but gossiping, really. And so I wanted to hear all the family gossip. So I would just pretend to help them cook, but I was really just listening to all the family gossip. 
<laughs> what are some of your favorite Cuban dishes to make? My mom makes the best arroz con pollo in the world. Um, so I like to make that too. It's like a comfort food. Um, but I love yuca frita. Ah, that's really good too. I make it with gandules and uh, lechon are some of my favorites. Well, I don't know if you just heard during this interview my stomach's growling, so now you just made me hungrier. <laughs> <laughs> Now, what advice would you have for someone who wants a career in design? Do you, build your portfolio. Um, try to ask your friends to redo their spaces. Just build a, a nice portfolio um, of pictures of before and afters. And make sure to even try to assist people that you really love. I see a lot of young designers going and taking jobs with designers that aren't necessarily their, their style. And although you'll learn tricks and, and of the trade, you're not going to really get your style. So try to find somebody that you really love in your area and try to assist them or intern. Now, what do you like to do for fun? Oh, I'm um, sing nursery rhymes. I just had a baby, so I can't, oh, I haven't had like fun. I go to sleep at nine. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I did? I watched Trolls last week and that was fun. <laughs> that works very well. And a glass of wine, girl. <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, so where can people find more information about you? You can go to whyskylights.com, whyskylights.com, or you can find me on Instagram or Facebook. So what's next for you? What's next for me? I have a line of wallpapers coming out next month with Chasing Paper, and I have new diaper bags coming out at Target and Nordstrom next month as well. And diaper bags are really convenient now that you need them too. Oh, you have no idea. That's why I designed them. They're so, so, so cute. And they're $59. Oh, good price. Yes. Uh, where can people find more information about how to transform their feelings? So you can go to whyskylights.com, W-H-Y-Skylights.com. All right. Thank you. And is there anything you'd like to add? Follow me on social media. I'm always posting and you get to see a glimpse of my life. And I have Facebook Live every Thursday too. And, and that, uh, that information is where? Uh, on my Facebook page at 4 o'clock on Thursdays, I do Facebook Live. And this Facebook Live this week, we're going to be doing um, a whole thing on the fifth wall. So if you need more inspiration, come join me for the fun on Thursday. And what's your Facebook uh, name? It's Sabrina Soto. Sabrina. So it's facebook.com slash Sabrina Soto. Oh, you'll be easy to find then. Well, easy peasy. happy cooking. Enjoy the baby. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for having me. All right. Anytime. Take care.